Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 28 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. I actually honestly don't even know what the uh, episode count is, but I have successfully um, destroyed uh, and, well, not destroyed, but I have successfully cut down most of the trees that were here. I used to do this, like, every time when they grew, even when the first tree grew, then I instantly cut all of them down but now that i have even more wood than i need i have started doing it quite more rarely than i do it um than i did it before so anyway as you can see it's raining and i'm not going to go out searching more villages because it is now night but the reason i started filming is because i want to show you some of the um uh armor that i got i got golden leggings with protection 2 uh leather cap with projectile protection 3 and in general we're actually getting quite a bit of uh armor from our grinder which is great and in addition to that we have enough pigs so that we can start killing them off but first of course i'm gonna breed the ones that i am able to breed and then after i do that then i'm gonna start killing the ones off that i um the adult ones so let me just start breeding all of them, and oh my god, they're taking so much of my carrots. But of course, the nutritional value of their meat is much better than carrots, so... I'm not gonna be scringing my carrots for these uh, piggies, because it would be much more economically efficient to breed them, and then just to take it, uh, and just to kill them and get the raw pork chop, and then cook it, and then get cooked pork chop, which will replenish much more hunger than just eating carrots does, so... But, however, I think that I'm not gonna cook them right away right now, and the reason for that is because... It's actually... And the reason for that is because... Okay, they're just so loud and the reason is that i don't think i'm gonna cook the pork chop and the reason for that is because if i do find some villager butchers that are willing to give me some emeralds for a raw pork chop that's what i'm gonna do okay now i'm gonna start to kill off some pigs okay we got two pork chop from that now i'm gonna be careful not to kill off children because i need those okay five Villager Butcher, um, I don't remember exactly for how much pork chop I can buy an emerald, but I think it's somewhere around three or so. Maybe more, maybe five. You know, maybe even more. But I still am going to kill these pigs off anyway, because there's just too many of them. Of course, I could make the cage bigger, but I, um, the, pe the pig pen a bit bigger, but I don't need to. Okay, let's do this until we get about a half a stack of uh, pork chops. Or until we start to run out of uh, pigs. But I think that when we get up to half a stack, there's still going to be plenty of pigs to kill. So, Yeah, I think I'm going to go over half a stack just because there's still so many pigs left. It's actually quite easy to kill them compared with like cows because the cows just start like frantically running around every time you hit them one time. I try to kill the ones on the edges because they're the easiest to kill now. Okay, wow, we might even get a stack of, uh, oh, I accidentally hit uh, a child pig, which is kind of bad because I need those to grow up. going to me wow i am really gonna get to stack oh wow yeah i'm not gonna go over stack because i think it's just gonna take too much to hold all of it oh wow we gotta be more than a stack but anyway that's what's with our pig pen so now we got an alternate food source oh we got a visitor okay let me just switch to my Let's get some pearls from you. Oh. Oh, that's... They teleport right here because, uh, there's... Th this covers the... Oh. Well, it should teleport back here somewhere. Or, unfortunately, it left. Yeah, I should have been hitting it into the, uh... Covering because that way it wouldn't teleport away. But, anyway. 
So, I'm just gonna go sleep real quick, and then after that we can go and uh, find some more villages. Ride some more horses. Some episodes are longer than others just because I have some episodes that go on for about 5 or so minutes, and other episodes that go on for much longer than that. Actually, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Oh yes, I'm going to get all of my trading items that I'm going to trade, so get some wool with me, get all the wool that I can, of course emeralds with me. I think that I am actually going to... I think that I am actually going to, uh, I'm gonna use this for fuel from now on because I just don't need oak wood stairs. I think that I'm gonna make about, uh, 16 or so, uh, cooked pork chop just because I don't think I'm gonna need that much for trade, and just because they're so resource efficient in that they don't take up much inventory space, but replenish lots of health. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and get some, um... And also because my carrots are kind of running out, that too, so. I could, of course, make more, but I'm not really feeling to because I already just made more recently. Okay, so let me get my horse ready. Uh, make sure that it's all nice and running. Okay, now, of course, we can't get in here right here, which is interesting because it can go through t two high, tall um, fences, but not through two high buildings, which is interesting. Oh my god, I hate trees that grow up that high. I really do because it takes so darn long to collect all of them. Why couldn't it just grow like, like kind of not so tall? Anyway, I think that our pork shop is about to get finished. Okay, who cares about that? Let me just... Okay, I'm just gonna have seven cooked pork chop. There we go. Place that back here. And now we're ready to go out on our voyage. Okay, now I'm thinking. I think that we should go in that direction, just because we have so many villages explored there. So we can go out in that direction, and then after that we can, um look over all of the villagers that are trading there and see if we can get some librarians. I'm only gonna focus on librarians right now just to cut some time because I don't really have much time. Uh, well, not that I don't have much time, but just I don't want to waste time while filming because I don't want to have a bunch of filler in my episodes. I want to have actually interesting things that I'm doing instead of having just um, filler content. But, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look at every village and look if it has any librarians in it. If it does not have any librarians, then I'm just going to pass through the whole village. Okay, let's see, does it have a library? Does this village have a library? Hmm. Yeah, it's still, thankfully it's still... The sun is still rising. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Looks like this village does not have a librarian, so I'm just gonna pass it. And run to the other village. Now, this whole village was created when I was searching for an additional lava source bucket. If you remember that. Oh, I think a creeper exploded here. Oh, yeah, when I was running back home. Wow. How did the items still not despawn? This was like a week ago, if not like two weeks ago. But anyway, th all of these uh, villages were explored when I was searching for a blacksmith so that I can get some lava when, when I accidentally put a lava source incorrectly and when I did not have enough lava to make another portal. I was forced to go and search for more villages that have blacksmiths to get more lava, and it was very unsuccessful. I also made a sped up version of that, so you wouldn't have to sit through it, and it was really cool. I really like the footage of me running around really quickly. Okay, now right there, this does have a... This does have a librarian, so... And I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put the horse, but... Um, okay, I don't know how there's... Bats flying there. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Whoa, I did not even collect the bookshelves here. That's amazing because I need bookshelves. Well, I need books. It's great to have books because there's not much books in this world. Um, so let me see. 
Okay, oh. Lots of good trade. Okay, but I don't want to waste emeralds. Okay, please, please. Oh my god. Wow. I've been searching for this so long. Okay, now let's get 10 emeralds and then buy all the glass that I can. Oh my god. Okay, or, oh. Oh, I was only able to buy 35 glass. But, oh my god. Glass in a super flat world. There is not one sand in this whole world, and yet I have gotten glass, which is amazing. Okay, let's see what are the next trades. Okay, paper. Okay, uh, no, I don't really have paper, and I'm not, I'm not really gonna ever have paper, because paper is something that I just don't have access to, since there is no sugar cane here, so... Wait, how is there a zombie there? That's weird. Okay, in case that. Okay, let's see. Where's my horse? Yeah, it's gonna suck if my horse despawned or something happened to it because I really like that horse. And this is what I mean by, uh. And this is what I mean. Oh, there's my horse. And this is what I mean by horses can often die or something. Okay, now I do. Now I'm also gonna trade with this dude right here. Oh my god. This is just craziness. I really hate all of these slimes around here, so I'm gonna enter a house. Oh. Okay, this one can buy a written book. Okay, hopefully we can regenerate some health right here. Actually, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna eat some cooked pork chop just because it regenerates more health. Uh, okay. Just so I can trick the slimes, I'm gonna enter exit right here. Uh, okay, oh wow, 20 redstone, that's amazing, we're finally getting to trade with some villagers. Okay, where'd that, um, where did that priest go, where'd that priest go? Okay, maybe there's some villagers that are able to, oh, that would be useful. There we go, now we got another pair of shears, which might be useful. Oh, 12 cooked fish, well, I don't think I'll, okay, what, what, what was that just attacking the villagers over there? Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, crap. Oh, snap. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. He's gonna kill off all the villagers. Die. Wait, how did he spawn with that? Okay, thankfully we were able to kill off those. Okay, it's getting to be more nighttime now, so... Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, we weren't able to trade. Oh, this is some useful stuff. So we could have some bottle enchanting. Hmm. I think I'm gonna buy just one bottle of enchanting. Uh, well, four bottles of enchanting, just so I could unlock possibly more of the trade offers. Oh, Eye of Ender. Well, I won't need Eye of Ender in this world anyway, so I guess he's kind of useless for now. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that would be pretty useful. Flint and steel. Do we have already, or do we already have a flint and steel? Oh. Okay. I did just find a villager that traded that would be able to buy some wheat from me, so I should be able to get to that one. Okay, my god, I hate these slimes so much. My god, what's that? Oh my god. Oh darn. Okay, now Operation Retrieve All of My Items has started. Crafting all of the resources that I need really, really quickly. Get some cobblestone. Craft some swords. Craft a shovel. Craft a pickaxe get all of the potion of swiftness that I can get and then I'm gonna run let's really really hope that um, the ch uh, uh, no not the chicken oh sorry now I'm, I'm gonna cross my uh, fingers that my items won't despawn by the time I get there and that my horse won't despawn by the time I get there 
and at first I thought that I'm not gonna have to use Potion of uh, Swiftness from now on, but thankfully I had a bunch of Potion of Swiftness to brood, so in case something like that happens, it's still useful to use Potion of Speed. Well, Potion of Swiftness. Now, thankfully we did, we were able to get glass, and I don't know why I stayed for so long, because apparently all of the glass and all of our emeralds and everything that we just traded are, are right there, so fingers crossed that we're gonna get that, because uh, that villager was very, very rare, and we were very, very lucky when we were able to get that glass. Now, one thing that I kind of forgot to take is I forgot to take additional food with me, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and raid some... Um, some crops that they have. I'm gonna go get some, possibly get us some of the, uh, let's see, what do they have growing here? Okay, they have some carrots growing here. Okay, now let's get some of that. Now, this is not the village where I died. I remember that I went past that. Now, I do have to drink a second potion of swiftness because that one has already ran out. Now, let's hope by that by the time we get there, there's not going to be too much mobs there, including slimes. I don't think there's going to be slimes there. They usually despawn when they kill me, so... Yeah. And let's hope that this potion of swiftness is able to protect me from all of these mobs that are currently spawning around me. So... Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. The red sky... Wow. Yeah, that's really something. Um, I don't think that five minutes has really passed it. I th I'm, I'm fairly certain that I will be able to get all of my items back. Now, one thing is that when I get my items back, that's when I'm going to end the episode there, just because I have already... Um, if I do, if I am able to get all of my stuff back, including the glass, then my goal for this episode will have been met, so so that way I'm gonna end the episode there, and then I'm going to build my villager breeder off camera, because that takes a long time to build. I'm gonna use all of my glass to build it, which I have quite a bit of. Oh my god. Okay, now, another hard part is going to be to... Now, I'm going to get another thing to run around. So, all of the three potions of swiftness will have been useful. Okay, let's see. Okay, how come I can't get any stuff? Hmm... Okay, I really need an instant potion of healing right now, that's what I really need. Okay, so now what looks like is that I'm not able to retrieve all of my items because uh, I don't have enough inventory space for everything that I have. Now let's quickly throw out some items. Oh my god. I really don't care about the villagers at this point. Let's just hope that these potions of, uh, swiftness help us out. Let's throw out some more stuff. Okay, I have no idea why I'm not able to pick up those emeralds that are right there. I'm gonna run around until I find a relatively safe spot where I can heal some more health. I'm gonna throw out another pickaxe that I have. And I have successfully acquired all of my items. But now a second difficulty will be how the hell am I going to get home? Oh my god. No. No, no. Okay. Okay, let's hope that we can. And thankfully, our horse didn't despawn thanks to Minecraft mechanics that did not despawn. 
So hopefully we're gonna run around like this until all my health heals, and then that's how I'm gonna be able to get back home. And there's a complete ton of mobs spawning here, so let's hope that they don't hurt us too much. Now, most likely by the morning, all of the... Now, most likely by the morning, all of the villagers will have already died out. Uh, but I don't really care because this is not such an important village than some other villages. Okay, is are there? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, they're still in slime right there. Yeah, we almost actually got killed when I had like two health left. Oh, I think I'm gonna go and get that wheat over there. I don't really know what I'm gonna throw out. I'm probably gonna throw out. Um... Okay. Okay, we can already hear some of the zombies being able to get through there. Um, oh, there's always only four wheat. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure that this uh, episode was very successful, despite the fact that we actually died and um, got killed by slimes during the daytime in a village environment. I still think that this was quite successful. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Minecralix. Uh, off camera, I'm gonna work on the villager breeder. And hopefully, by the next episode, I'm gonna have that complete. So, thank you very much for watching. I think this is quite a long episode already. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Minecralix. Uh, and I'm out.